So have you ever wondered what goes into an expensive item versus a very cheap item? Well, that's kind of what I'm thinking about doing in today's video. So today what I wanna do is take $100 and go into several different stores at different price points, anything from the cheapest store to the more expensive store, and see what we can buy with that $100 bill, the best thing we can buy in each store, and talk about value, quality, fit, and if it's worth buying the higher quality, expensive price tag. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. So the first store we're gonna start is Forever 21. Here's a store where you could probably get a t-shirt for like $3. And the idea is to see what type of value, quality, and quantity you can get in each store. So obviously this one, we pretty much know we're gonna get a lot of quantity, but are we gonna get a lot of value? Let's find out. All right, so just finished at Forever 21. Let's see exactly how much value we could get out. And this is what I got from Forever 21. So for around $85, I was able to compose a whole outfit and get an extra top, leaving me with around $15 to either go get some lunch or get a fresh new haircut. The only problem with Forever 21, which you can already see off the back in almost any lower tier brand, is that the quality is not so good. So if you see the, the chinos, they already fit skin tight. After the first wash, never be able to wear them again. The t-shirt, same thing. This t-shirt, I might get one, maybe two uses out of it, after a couple washes, it's just gonna be too tight and it's just and no longer usable. So while on lower quality clothing, you do get a lot more quantity, the quality is just not there sometimes. However, all in all, still not bad play getting a whole outfit and an extra top for only $85. <laughs> be doing is H&M. So H&M is an interesting store because I think it's a little bit pricier than Forever 21, but you might be getting a little more quality, more value. I don't know. Depends. So that's what we're going to be looking at today. So you can already see that the prices are significantly higher. I mean, this is for one t-shirt, 18 bucks, whereas for F21, it was $9, you know? All right, so we are finally done at H&M. Let me show you exactly what I got. This whole look cost us around $98 and we were only able to get two items. We got this long sleeve polo, which in my opinion looks very elegant. It's 100% wool. It, it just feels very luxurious. So it definitely is a good pickup that's not gonna wear down after one or two wears. And we got these pinstripe trousers, which do fit a little bit tight, but they are made with a higher quality wool than the lower priced H&M trousers that they have available. So yes, you are paying more. Yes, you're also getting a little bit less, but you're still getting essential items that you can wear multiple times and in my opinion, look great. All right guys, so our third and what I would call probably middle tier type of brand will be J.Crew. You're gonna automatically see prices starting to go up. You're gonna get less quantity, but your quality should be going up as well. And that's the whole point of this video. That's what should be happening. Let's test it and see if that is what is happening. So let's go in, see what $100 can get us. Come on. So the cool thing with J. Crew here is that they're all basic, they're like basics that men should have, you know, chinos that are regular colors or dress shirts that are regular colors. So yes, you're gonna be getting less, but these less pieces are gonna be used more type of thing, you know? All right guys, so we are out of J. Crew. Definitely got some good pickups, but not as much as we've been getting lately. We actually went over about $4, 104 was the total. We got a t-shirt and a pair of jeans. It may be simple, but both are very high quality. Now, while the quantity is significantly less, we definitely think, I believe, got a lot of value, especially in the jeans, because these are not your disposable type of brand. This brand usually lasts you a very long time, even though you're paying a little bit more. Now, while not every item in J. Crew is amazing quality, Certain pieces like their chinos and their jeans and their dress shirts are very well made and do, do last a very long time. All right, so for our final store before we can no longer buy anything, 
is probably going to be Hugo Boss. Obviously, the prices are going to be out the roof, but let's see exactly how much value we can get with just $100. So you can already see the price is starting to hike up, but I'm actually surprised. $100 t-shirt, anyone? Don't let this bag fool you. And what I came out with actually surprised me. I thought I was only going to come out with a tie, but even those were too pricey. I had to go to the sales section and I was able to find this t-shirt for $100. So it came out, it was like 98 with tax that ended up being like 103 or something. So definitely a very expensive t-shirt, definitely not worth it. Now, when you feel the t-shirt in your hand, you can see that it's a sturdier, more quality fabric. I haven't washed it, nor have I ever owned Hugo Boss t-shirt, so I don't know how it's gonna hold up. But this brings us to the moral of the video, that just because it's a high-end brand doesn't necessarily mean you're getting the best value. As you start spending more per item, it's kind of like you start getting diminishing returns. They can preach all the quality and craftsmanship they want, but it gets to a point that it's almost unnoticeable, the price difference. So let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. So of course, the first store that we started with was Forever 21. We got this t-shirt, it was $9. And this is the type of t-shirt that you'll wash it once, it shrinks, very cheap t-shirt. I think it's made in the Philippines. And then you start spending a little bit more for your tops. And say you go to Jku and you pick up a t-shirt like this one and was $25. So yes, it's over double the price, but as soon as you wear a t-shirt like this that you spend double the price on, you can instantly feel the difference on it, feel the quality on it, and know that it's gonna last you more than one, two, or three washes. And that's where you know investing a little bit more in quality becomes useful. However, in my opinion, when it becomes useless is when you start paying more for brand than for quality and that's where this Hugo Boss tee comes in. So if you put these two side by side, I'm pretty sure both of them are gonna last around the same time, yet this t-shirt was $100, almost four times the price of this single t-shirt. And where you start getting, like I said, diminishing returns that yeah, you're getting more, but it's not really that satisfying and you're not getting the value. So I hope that video was informative and it was interesting to see what you could get at different types of store and different type of price points. So if you guys like this video and enjoyed it, don't forget to drop a like down below, it really helps us out. Also, don't forget to check out MassDrop. I'm gonna have it linked down below, completely free to sign up. And it's a community where you're gonna save a lot of money and I know you guys are gonna enjoy it. So that's it for me in today's video. See you next time.